This is the final. Well, we're going now. Let's take yeah, it back. Taking it back. So what I wanted to do was a final verdict. What we read each, and this is our genuine. This is not a paid endorsement. This is our genuine opinion of this car. One of the things the guys at Renault said is, we want you to just take it and be completely honest. Be honest. And I feel like these guys won't think we're being honest because we haven't got any really particular bad points. No. A few people have raised a few good points, haven't they, in the comments. Yeah, yeah that's true. And look, and you may find Jones said about the lease on the battery, which is a good point. It could put people off. Is there a battery lease clause on the car? I have heard this lasts the length of the car, so if you sell it, the, the new owner has to take on the lease. Yeah, originally when Renault first brought out the Zoe, there were lots of people that were concerned about the life of the battery. The Renault Zoe been out since 2013. What Renault did was, to make the car cheaper, you could buy the car and lease the battery. That way then, if anything went wrong with the battery, Renault would replace the battery. And also, if it charged less than 90%, I think it was, then Renault would replace the battery. But since releasing them, and obviously Renault getting feedback from customers and yeah. reviews and stuff, they realised that the battery's good. It, it's it lasts, fantastic. It's great. And I also, um, I was reading an article about a taxi driver who owns one. He had done over 100,000 miles in his Renault Zoe and it was constantly using fast charge and it still holds over 90% of the battery's charge. That's so reassuring, isn't it? It is Taxi. reassuring, yeah. So now they've given you the option, you can buy the car and the battery or you can buy the car and lease the battery. But you are right, if, if the person before you leased the battery, you then got to lease the battery. But I do think there is an option to buy that battery from them. So that wouldn't be an issue. Personally, I think I would want to own the battery just to keep the costs down because if you're in, if you've got a, a, a monthly payment for the battery, then you're kind of losing out what you're gaining from using the electric over a petrol or a diesel car. And on the flip side, if you lease the battery, you've always got the reassurance that if anything goes wrong with it, then you can get in touch with Renault and they replace or repair whatever they do. Yeah. But so no, that isn't an issue. You you can you can do that either way. That that'd be entirely up to you. I think if if I was going to go for a new one, I would like to own the battery personally. Yeah. Because you, you, I'd rather make that payment and know that. That's it. Yeah. yeah there's no. That's it. There's no monthly uh, the monthly costs. I agree. Another comment said something about how could you get to London and back in the same day, or maybe Alton Towers. Now this car has enough range to get you to either London or Alden Towers. Here's a picture of the map of London showing all the charging points. Now you can barely see London. There is literally hundreds of charging points. So no matter where you're going in London, you will find a charging point. And for us, that would never be a problem because whenever we go to London, we catch a mega bus. So it would never be an issue for us. But if you were that sort of person, you were to drive to London, especially if you wanted to get there and back in the same day, you need to have a rapid charge Renault Zoe, which will charge 80% in 30 minutes. So, like and I said- 80%, I mean, how many miles? It's over Well, this is it. And also, there. if it does 80% in, in 30 minutes, I find it unlikely that you would go to London just for an hour. I'm, I'm guessing yeah. you'd be there for most of the day, or if not, a few hours. So if you had a rapid charge Renault Zoe, you could literally charge it up, and within, a, within an hour or so, it would be 100% ready for you to come back. So that really wouldn't be an issue. I couldn't see that being an issue. No, not, not at all. Um, another point, a good point actually, hard worker said, um, when you get fed up of charging, if it was pouring down with rain, I live on a main road, so the only way to charge a car was to run my extension lead across the road. Obviously, live in some places, yes. you're not, it's not going to be accessible to get to a charging at the moment, point. At the moment, but... I know there are parts of the country which are turning lampposts into charging points. Yeah, let's be fair guys, this is new, you know, it's this only... And the government are pushing this. I think if you buy a Renault Zoe brand new, the government will actually give you £4,500... As an incentive new... yeah, to off a new go one. electric. Also, didn't you read that they um, give you £500 yes. towards fitting a charging point? They'll give you £500 towards installing a charging point at your home. 
but yeah. I do understand what you're saying. If you live on a main road, yeah, it could be quite tricky. Yes, we're lucky enough that we we can charge it. We can charge it by our garage, or we can charge it by the front door. So it's, it's not an issue for us. And no. I, and I think if you live in a new estate, the chances are you'll be pretty much the same. Yeah, but it is only a matter of time before. I mean, the island will probably have points in the car park where you can yes. charge us. Yes. And so I can understand how this might not be right for you just yet but it's only a matter of time the charging points will be absolutely everywhere and like you see that of that map of London there's literally hundreds of charging points there's more charging points than there is petrol stations yeah you've so, got a map of the UK show them the map of the UK which shows all the yeah this yeah this is the map of the UK and this shows how many charging points there are in the UK across the UK so I, I don't can, think you'd ever be stuck no. and if you were stuck Renault save yeah. you if you've yes. got like, electric cars they'll yes. come and save you now, now a gentleman at Renault told me that the main problem people are having with these cars with running out is if you're you're directed to a charging point which is maybe broken or already taken and that can obviously be an issue but if you then haven't got enough charge to get you to the next charging point Renault will actually come rescue and take you. you they'll rescue you and take you to the, the the closest charging point so you can't really get further than that can you no that's fantastic that is fantastic and that's a good um, reassurance to know that Renault put like that in place in yes. case anyone did get that stranded is fantastic, yeah. the... also the Renault Zoe for a reasonable price car the range it does is better than any better than any of them the only two cars that got more of a range that I have seen is the Tesla and obviously you would pay a lot more for the Tesla than you would a Renault Zoe performance wise like I've said in previous videos absolutely fantastic I really can't fault it on the motorway it's got plenty of oomph it'll get oh. you up to 70 mile an hour no problem at all and I'm sure it'll go beyond but I'm not a lawbreaker no. I'll never get over how quiet it is. I'll never no. get used to how quiet it is. No. And I didn't think I'd be bothered, but how clean the feeling is when you yeah. just think, I'm driving an electric car. Yes. It's good to the environment. Yes. It's, it's very just true. It's really good, isn't it? Is. it? it I is. mean, I hope this is the future. This is the future. You can take it from me. <laughs> So guys, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And if I don't know, I'll ask our friends at Renault to, uh, and, they'll find, and they'll find out and let us know. But um, we know this car wouldn't be for everyone if you, you know, commute is long and stuff. But as far as we go, it's yeah. perfect. I think for pretty much 90% of families, this would be it's perfect. Ideal. Yeah. And somebody, and, and also somebody said about when you get fed up charging in the rain, you, you touched upon that, didn't you? Yeah. And as far as charging in the rain, I mean, we went to put petrol in our car yesterday and it was raining, and although you've got the shelter above you, I was getting soaked. So, yeah. no, it wouldn't really bother me. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, you plug it in. Plug it, it in and run Yeah. In. And I think if you was to plug this in and charge it outside your house every every night, I, I don't think you would um, well, you ever have to, to worry. Do it. We wouldn't need to. We'd probably have to charge once a week. Yeah, once a week I think we'd, we'd need to charge this. Yeah. Um, obviously we've done a lot of miles in it since we've we've had it, but you know what it's like when you get a new car, you're always out and about. We had to and, test it out, didn't we? Well, that's right, Put yeah. It against the spaces. Otherwise it'd be no good telling you all this, would it? Exactly. So yeah, let's just show them a little last final look around, because I haven't showed them this. Let me just show you around the inside of the car. On this particular model, we got leather seats too. And I must say, the design of the seats, they're very comfortable. And they also, look at them, they look fantastic. I love the rose gold trim around here and the cream and the, and the brown leather. It, it really looks nice together, like doesn't it? it? Yeah. You've got a couple of cup holders, different sizes. I'm guessing that there, you could put your pen there. You know, mobile phone may be there. The key is intended to go, to go in there, but I just find that your other keys rattle, so I just leave it in there. It makes no difference. You have a 12 volt plug, and you've also got your cruise control here, which is absolutely fantastic. And when you press the start button, it all comes to life. In the back, you have this cleverly disguised handle, and genuinely, there's plenty of room. That seat is pushed right back for some reason, so that's not really showing it very well.
also have a listen to the noise it makes as it goes past. Up to 18 miles an hour, it'll make this noise to make pedestrians aware of it. Have a listen as it passes. I think that's a wrap mate. So my final conclusion, would I buy one of these? In a heartbeat, absolutely fantastic. I would own one of these tomorrow if I was financially able. Yes, perfect. So guys, I hope that answers a few of your questions. Thanks to the guys at Renault Cardiff for letting us show this off. Yes, we really appreciate it. It's been a brilliant Put experience. And a big thanks to our friend Matt at Renault who arranged all this for us. So guys, thank you for joining us. Don't get lost or squashed, and we'll speak more soon. Bye. Bye, Zoe. We're going to miss you.